So in this video, I want to talk about the different ways that women reject you and or test you. And this is a very simple but powerful concept that can have a huge impact on you because a lot of you guys think you're being rejected when you're not. And even if you are actually being rejected, a lot of times there's something you can do about it. So if you really want to understand how rejection and testing really works, I always say the game is played in rejection. Make sure to stay to the end and watch this whole video so you can see the three different major ways women do this and what to do about it. Now, before I get started, make sure to check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. If you haven't checked it out, it covers all the basic principles of embodiment because embodiment is the key to making all this stuff work. If you haven't worked on your embodiment in the past and you've only worked on techniques and lines and routines, embodiment is most likely the problem. Learning to be grounded, learning to be turned on, learning to be in your heart and be vulnerable, learning to be proactive versus reactive, learning to truly feel your body and communication changes the whole game. So check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. There'll be a link somewhere in this video. With that said, let's dive in a little bit deeper. So sometimes men are actually, the women are just playing with you. They're flirting with you. And they're not really rejecting you. They're kind of testing you. Sometimes they're actually rejecting you. And the way you handle it, if you step into your power as a man and own your vulnerability and step into that energy and the tension, you can actually shift that energy powerfully. And there's a great video, the video I did last week on owning your vulnerability. Uh, that will be somewhere in here, linked in here. Definitely watch that if you, if you need to understand that a little bit more. And then another thing that often happens is that a lot of times you think you're being rejected when you're not. They're just thinking, they're, they're dealing with something. And because of your insecurities, you're taking it personal. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper. Women often reject when they're testing you. If you're doing a really good job, I always say the game is played in rejection. Women will push your buttons, will test on you uh, because they like you. You're coming at them, you're doing a really good job. She's like, this guy's a little cocky, he's kind of sexy, and she might put up a little front. Oh, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I like you. I'm, I'm not sure, you know, I haven't decided yet. Or, boy, you're cocky, I don't know if I should keep talking to you. Or, you know what, you should go over there and talk to her. And you can see that coy, kind of playful smile that she's got, and that's one way women reject. Really insecure guys get that, they might be doing a really good job up front because they've been practicing, they get that, and they just shut down immediately. I love to use the example of an old client of mine that walked over to a woman and came back and said, see, she doesn't like me. And he'd been telling me women didn't like him, which I didn't believe because he was a really grounded guy. And I said, what did she say? And he said, well, she said, you're a player and I'm not going to sleep with you. And I said, did you bring up sex at all? And he said, no. And I said, she's flirting with you. She's, she, if she brought it up first, she's thinking about sex. And she said, I'm not going to sleep with you when you were just having a casual conversation. She was inviting, inviting you into this tension or this banter game. He wasn't getting it. So that happens a lot with you guys. So start paying attention when you're out and looking at the sub-communication of women and actually err. One of the things you can do is err on the side a little bit more. When they say something like that, let me take it a little bit farther and see what happens. Let's not just walk away. You learn a lot by pushing those boundaries. And you might even just flirt for a little bit longer and see if she walks away. She might start leaning in a little bit more. Now let's dive into the second one. The second one I was talking about is that women will often reject when they are losing interest. A lot of times that's because you're being meek, you're shrinking your energy, you're pulling back. And all that really requires is you shifting your state. If you're not owning your emotions, for example, you're walking up and you know, you're really pretty and there's a meekness to you, that's not gonna be sexy, especially in a noisy environment. I was at this restaurant once and I watched this guy walk over to these two Asian girls. They're really pretty Asian girls and I could tell he wanted to meet them. I could tell from a mile away. They could tell from a mile away. And he walks up half apologetic and he's like, hi, uh, don't mean to bother you, but um, just saw you ladies sitting here, you're really pretty. And they're like, ah, oh, thank you. And they're giggly and they're kind of drunk. And he's like, you know, so how's your night going? And he started flirting with them, but he was doing it with one foot in, one foot out. And that's a lot of the reason they reject. These girls giggled some more and just kind of said, thank you and goodbye. And he walked away. Now imagine if he had walked over and owned that energy, maybe halfway through, and I talk about this in my last video, and he's like, hi, I just wanted to meet you. You know, you, you ladies are really sexy. And he said, what am I doing? He said, and he called himself out. Well, if he just said to, in his head, he went, what am I doing? And went, stop. 
and did a little reset internally and said, you know what? You two are really fucking sexy and I just had to come over and talk to you. There's something about you. What's your name? And started to chat with this more bold energy. It could have changed the direction of the whole conversation. So in the second one, I often invite you to take, a, take notice. Are you one foot in, one foot out? Are you owning it? You know, I had to come over and meet you. There's something about you. Look at you, you're really sexy. And that can be so much more powerful. If you're shaking a little bit, that can even be more powerful. Look, you're making me shake. I'm really nervous talking to you, but I, I had to come over and say hi. It shows that you're a master of your own emotions. Even though you get nervous, you don't let the emotions own you. And that is so damn powerful. So let's jump to the third example. And in the third example, you're, you're often just making one simple error. You're taking a little thing she's doing as a rejection. That's a sign of a lot of insecurity. You need to do some deep work on that. And one of the key things you can do is push forward in the interaction anyways. So for example, she might be talking to you, really engaged, and suddenly she gets a text. She's been waiting for a text from her friend all day and she grabs her phone to look at it. She's over here and you're like, oh, see, she's, she's, she's losing interest in me. She's looking at her cell phone. That's often not the case. If you just ground and relax into your body, she'll probably come right back. And if she keeps doing it, you can say, is there something, is there something important there? You can call it out and watch her reaction. Watch the way her tone changes. Or, oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. That can be huge. Um, there's so many other ways women might reject. She might look down for a minute because she's nervous and get a little nervous and pull back a little bit. And if you just talk a little bit longer, you can pull her back in and she just wants you to ground her. I've often seen women when a guy stops them say, aha, that's really funny. Okay. And continue to walk. And she's really interested, but she's continuing to walk. She doesn't know if you're serious. She's nervous. Remember women get just as nervous talking to guys as guys do to girls. And if the guy just says, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait, I'm not done talking to you. Come here, come here. Or just give me 30 more seconds. I want to add, tell you one thing. A lot of times she'll just turn right back around and go, what? And smile and start talking to you some more. So I want you to think of this as persistence and commitment so that you can get over your own fear. Make sure she rejects you at least three times. And I'd prefer you to go all the way to five. I'm talking about those subtle rejections where she starts to walk away. She grabs her phone before you even consider giving up push your boundaries in this area. If she hasn't actually, if she hasn't even walked away yet and she's still there after the first three or five, assume the conversation's on and continue to move forward. Okay. Let that in. It's so damn powerful. So hopefully you're enjoying this video. Hopefully you're getting a lot of value out of it. Those three key ways can be huge in shifting a man's reality when going out to meet women. And uh, before I move on, I want to invite you to like, share and subscribe to the video and also to make sure to put comments in those comments are so important to us they help us to grow the channel we're uh we really want to hit that hundred thousand subscribers and uh and really keep bringing you better and better content i got a lot of stuff planned for you guys down the road so make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything make sure to hit that bell notification make sure to share and make sure to comment and with that said, let's continue on. Now, if you're really getting value out of this and you're understanding these three key principles of rejection, you'll begin to realize that the game is actually played in rejection. The better you get at rejection, the more free from outcome you develop yourself, the more powerful you're gonna be with women. You're gonna find that in the past, you're gonna look back at a lot of interactions that were really working and you walked away. And I guarantee if you've been approaching and flirting at all, that that's happened to you. There's been interactions that were really killing it, really working that would have gone somewhere if you just would have stayed in another 30 seconds, another minute. But because you didn't believe in yourself or you weren't sure, you didn't understand this principle, you walked away. So don't do that anymore. I want you to promise that you'll commit to pushing it, persistence and a commitment a little bit farther. If she rejects you once, make sure you get at least three to five minimum before you consider walking away. And if she's not walking away, you, especially if you're at a bar or something like that, keep talking a little bit longer and let yourself err on the side of a little too much and learn from this, especially if you have the habit of walking away. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of it. I want you to make sure you check out my previous video on vulnerability and the power of vulnerability because I think that goes perfectly with this. A lot of you guys are missing that vulnerability piece and that's why the women are pulling back. So a strong, sexy vulnerability can be the glue that changes 
everything. So that video would be linked in here somewhere. And uh, with that said, remember, only the confident really live. And I'll see you in the next video.